Is your collection getting out of hand? Then this video might be for you. Hello and welcome everybody. I hope you're all having a great and the amazing day, all you good beautiful beans. I am 16-Bit Ferret, and this week we're going to talk about organization for a collection. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, yeah, I, I keep my stuff organized, you know, I got it in binders and boxes here and there. Okay, alright, cool. Look to your left. Now back to your right. Now back to me. Did you see a stack of cards? Then you might need this video. And it's okay. If you actually seen that right there, don't feel bad. I, I kind of got one myself too. Now this video is going to be both for players, collectors, just for anybody in general, no matter what side of a, any TCG hobby you're on, this is going to be some helpful tips and tricks to help keep you organized and help keep you knowing where things are without having to spend hours hunting for one card. <laughs> I've, I've been there. I know that. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the most simplest known thing for storing stuff. Boxes and binders. So both of these have a lot of pros and cons to them. We're going to start off with the binder. Binders are amazing for storing things in your collection because whenever you want to, you just pull it off the shelf, open it up, and just thumb through your collection, making it super easy to see what you have. The downside of binders, however, is that they do not hold as much as boxes do, so for let's say however many X amount of binders you have, less boxes basically could carry the same amount of cards. And as for while well, storing things in boxes, however, that's actually going to be on the other side of the coin right there, to where it can store mass amounts of stuff in a nice, neat, tight, compact space. The only problem with it is, though, is that you can't really show off that collection or know exactly where things are unless you have things organized and color-coded. So it makes it a little bit harder to find certain things. So binders are pretty good for bigger things that you want to show off. Boxes are pretty good for more low-end stuff and uh, bulk that you just want to just keep put away for whatever. Now, when I say boxes, I mean like the typical boxes that you store cards. Not just any size box. I just want to say that before I go any further. And since I said that dreaded word, let's talk about it. Bulk. <sighs> Whether you're a player or a collector that likes to crack packs, this is something that you're going to be running across. So, what's the best course of action for bulk? Well, I would recommend sorting it. Like, as soon as you get anything into your collection bulk-wise, sort it by set, color, name, and it'll keep it super easy for you to manage. Now, let's say you haven't sorted bulk in your entire time of collecting. What do you do? Number one, don't do it all in one go. Sorting through bulk is a process that'll take hours, 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 and hours. So find a comfortable space, find a place where you can just put on something that has background noise, and just listen to your favorite show as you just keep going through it. So when you do go through bulk, here's what I recommend doing. S sort things by set. Once you have everything sorted by set, so go Pile A is this set, Pile B is this set, Pile C is this set. Start to sort then by color. So it's Magic the Gathering, be like, this is white, this is blue, this is red, this is green, so on and so forth. And then after that, sort by rarity, then name. This will make your life so much easier for when you're like, okay, this card right here went up in price. I need to go find it. You're going to go through like, uh... Okay, here, pull out a chunk, sort through a little bit, and find it like This will make your life so much easier when it comes to things. And yes, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. I promise you. And now that we talked about sorting and about bulk stuff and about large numbers of things, let's talk about ways to keep track of a collection. And that is the wonderful world of Excel. If you have a Google Gmail account, congratulations, you have access to Google Drive. And that, for free, you can operate Excel. Excel is an amazing, amazing way to keep track of your collection. You can have separate tabs pulled up, so you can split things up by 
card games, so Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, MetaZoo, sealed and graded, that's kind of like how I got mine set up, and then bracket it down based off of what set, what you have, condition, the number. This way, if you are ever curious what you have and stuff, you can just go pull that up, bam, and you know, you'll know what you have, and that way if you're just sorting through bulk, like, okay, bulk has this, this amount right here, boop, and you'll know what you have instead of having to dig through everything, which was another thing that'll make your life a whole lot easier. Anyways, I'm kind of done rambling on for the night, folks. I hope you all have a greatly amazing time. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have been enjoying the YouTube shorts that we've been doing. This is going to be kind of a permanent thing, and yeah, we're kind of becoming a uh, trading card game YouTuber. <laughs> Look at us go. Anyways, I will see you all next time, and until then, have a Duke Duke Day.